So today we are making Guinness beer chocolate cupcakes with a Bailey's Irish cream frosting. <laughs> um, so basically, sorry, my bow keeps twisting about. Uh, so these are for St. Patrick's Day, which I hope you guys are having an amazing St. Patrick's Day. Thank goodness it's on a Friday this year. Um, these are so amazing. I can't wait for you guys to make them and send me pictures. These toppers are made out of fondant that I got off of Etsy. I will put a link to both stores down below. And then the Bailey's Irish Cream Frosting, which is amazing by the way. My only issue is it's not standing up the way I would like it to, so you can add a bit of cream cheese to the recipe or um, maybe another fourth a cup of butter to make it stand up and make it a bit more sturdy if you want more of like a frosting, whereas this is more like an icing because an icing is a bit runnier. So anywho's, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump in. For this recipe, you will need one third a cup of cocoa powder, one cup of baker sugar, one cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a cup of sour cream, a fourth a cup of melted butter, one egg, half a tablespoon of vanilla and six ounces of Guinness So the first thing beer. we're gonna do is whisk together all of our dry ingredients into this big bowl. And we're using the big bowl because we will be adding the wet in eventually, obviously. So we're just going to add in our one cup of sugar, a third a cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, and one cup of flour. And we're just going to whisk that together until it's combined. Beautiful. In the powdered one, I forgot to do the a fourth a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Whoopsie. So we'll just mix that in. And in a separate bowl, we're gonna com be combining all of our wet ingredients. So we're gonna add in the six ounces of Guinness beer. I actually chose to go for the Guinness Draft. I don't know what the difference is. I'm not a beer connoisseur, but just so you know, Guinness Draft is what I used. So six ounces of Guinness Draft, half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of vanilla extract, one egg, and our fourth a cup of melted butter, as well as our sour cream. I'm going to use rubber spatula just because we don't want any left behind. And we're just going to whisk this now. Let me tell you, this does not look amazing. Just being honest. Now that this is combined, we are slowly going to pour this into our dry mixture. I do have a KitchenAid, but I'm doing this by hand because I actually watched a video the other day. My bow is so crooked. I watched a video the other day about how a lot of, oh my gosh, this is like getting so difficult. I watched a video about how a lot of our cake mixes can actually become overmixed by using a kitchen aid or an electric whisk due to the fact that when you overmix something, that's what ends up causing it to like crack and whatnot. So I was like, that's interesting as I love to bake. Oh, but I have to tell you my arm is getting tired. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna pour the rest of this in. Okay, so that is nice and combined and now we're going to fill our cupcake tin which was behind me the whole time. <laughs> now, typically I would use an ice cream scoop, but because as you can see, this is quite a loose mixture, I'm actually going to use a ladle to fill these. And we don't wanna fill it all the way. We just want them about a third, or yeah, about a third of the way. Okay. 
Oh, I hate when I spill it on the pan. So annoyed with myself. You can taste just like a hint of the beer, but it's not, it's not like really, really beer tasting. You can just taste just a tiny hint. Okay, so we're gonna place these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 22 minutes. For the frosting, you'll need two cups of powdered sugar, a fourth a cup room temperature butter, and two tablespoons of Bailey's Irish cream. Keep the bottle with you in case you need it. The cupcakes are out of the oven. We've just got them here cooling, and we are going to work on the frosting. Fix this bow. And I am using my hand mixer for this just because frosting can take a while. Butter, go ahead and pop that in. And then add in your powdered sugar slowly because it will get all over the place if you add it all in at once. going to be using any food coloring in mine because I kind of like the simplicity of it and I do have cupcake toppers so I'm going to just go ahead and add in my frosting. I think I added in far too much Bailey's Irish cream but I didn't like the um, flavor it just wasn't developing the way I wanted so hopefully they set up properly and I just wanted that Irish cream flavor. chocolate cupcakes with Irish cream, Bailey's Irish cream frosting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to send me a picture on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, if you guys make these, because I'd love to see your little creations. And let's roll into the 8,000 subscriber giveaway.
Okay guys, so the 8,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be announced next week, the winner of it. It'll be on Friday the 25th, I don't know. I'll, I'll put it in, but this is what one person will win. A Morphe brush kit, that's what it looks like. A MAC Prep and Prime Face Protect Lotion SPF 50. One of my absolute favorites. A MAC All the Right Angles Contour Palette. This is in the shade Medium because obviously I don't know the skin tone of the person that will win so I figured Medium is the most versatile shade to go with. A MAC Pro Lip Palette. This is so exciting. I think this is in the Necessary Nudes Palette. Look at how many gorgeous, amazing colors are in there. And last but not least, the MAC Eyeshadow Palette has 15 colors and this is Warm Neutral. And this is what the palette looks like. It has a little sticky thing you can peel off when you get it. I actually have this myself and love it. And that is everything. So you get the whole Morphe brush kit, which I think this kit is amazing. You get the MAC Warm Neutral Eyeshadow Palette, the Pro Lip Palette, the All The Right Angles Contour Palette, and the MAC Prep and Prime Sunscreen. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Uh, there is a link down below that says monthly giveaway information or giveaway information, I can't remember what it says. Click that, it'll take you to an app on my blog, my website that will basically take you through every single step that you can do to enter. There's extra entries you can earn and it's so much easier if you just click that link and use that app. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be entered or subscribe. I think it's down below. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.